So welcome to another episode of Natural Exposures TV. I'm Daniel Cox, and today we're continuing on with our tests of the Olympus EM1X with a 300 millimeter f4, and the Panasonic Lumix G9 with the 100 to 400 millimeter lens in the studio, shooting targets on the wall to get an idea of the quality of these particular lenses, how sharp they are wide open. So the way I like to shoot these tests is I have a wireless strobe system connected to each camera. This is the newspaper. I use this because it has really fine detail that the lenses can focus on and we can look at. I actually find that for my purposes and, and real world situation, just the text on a newspaper on a flat wall is a really good way to get a great idea of how sharp your lenses are. So I'm going to point the camera and the lens at that newspaper on the wall and the wireless flash is going to fire the strobe to give us a nice, sharp, detailed image due to the fact that this is all based on strobe. None of these lenses are super fast, so the strobe solves that problem. Well, there's a nice detailed image that we're going to be able to look at on the computer and see how sharp it is. So that's how these tests will be run. And I will be shooting all of the cameras with their respective lenses and we will get a chance to look at the images and see how they all stack up. Okay, so it's another day. Last evening, I went through the process a little bit of showing how I was gonna test these cameras shooting up against a flat wall with a newspaper, and I ran into a stumbling block last night where I thought my Godox uh, wireless transmitters wouldn't work on the Sony camera. And so I didn't shoot it last night, I shot the others. But I found that this does work just fine with a Sony camera and got back into it this morning and did these tests with the Sony 200 to 600 millimeter lens and the Sony A7R Mark IV, I believe it is. So we got these tests done. Um, tested a lot of gear, we tested a brand new 100 to 400, which I wanted to do because it seems as though I've noticed over the period of time since I first got my original 1-400, to which is right here. I got this lens, I think it came out almost four years ago. And I got this around right when it first came out. And I've seen some people on our trips who were shooting with us that I look at their images with the 1-400 to and thought that they looked a little sharper. I've also noticed that on this 1-400, to the zoom mechanism is considerably smoother than the one I have. So they have improved it that way for sure. I'm wondering if they may have improved the glass a little bit, so we shot that. We shot the 300 millimeter Olympus with the 1.4 teleconverter and the two times teleconverter. So we did a lot of tests and I'm going to put these all together. I'm going to upload them to my website on our blog and you'll be able to download these images and see for yourself how well this camera stacked up with all this other gear. I did do a set of images all at 600 millimeters so we can compare all these lenses to this lens and vice versa at 600 millimeters. So stay tuned. And before I go, I wanna give a shout out to Bozeman Camera right here in Bozeman, Montana. I'm very fortunate to have such an incredible high quality camera store right here in my hometown where I was able to borrow the two to 600 Sony with the new A7R Mark IV. Thank you, Marshall Lewis and Bozeman Camera. The small town store, big time dealer, I like to call them. If you have photographic needs, they ship to anywhere in the country and they do a great job and you'll enjoy dealing with the people on the other end of the phone. So thanks a lot, Bozeman Camera. We really appreciate your help. Subscribe to the channel below and join me in the future with Natural Exposures TV where we talk about all things related to photography and the great outdoors.